All right, hi everybody. Today we're gonna to walk you through real quick about how to um, put on your fancy new uh, MIDI controller sticker. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is all of these little spots where that it's been cut out, you're gonna to wanna to just pop each one of these um, areas out. So you have the different circles up here for the knobs, and then you also have these long uh, punch outs here for um, the faders to go in, and then each of the buttons on the MIDI controller also needs to pop out. So go ahead and do that first thing and then um, I'll show you how to stick that on. So one of the things to do while you're punching all of these out is to turn it, turn it over and punch it out from the back. That way, if you pull one of these off and it happens to rip the paper, you're not ripping the sticker, you're just ripping the backing. All right, so once you've got everything punched out, go ahead and set that aside because the next um, thing you wanna do is actually pull off all of the knobs and faders from your MIDI controller. So go ahead and do that now. They should just pop off very easily. All right, so once all of your knobs and faders are off, go ahead and flip it back over. On the right side of the sticker, there's a cut here, and that's how you're gonna start uh, unpeeling the backing from the sticker. So go ahead and get a little of it started. You don't wanna pull the whole thing off. And be very careful as you go, and I'm gonna get about that much off. And then I'm just gonna try to line it up best I can with my MIDI controller. This is where you kinda wanna be as accurate as possible. It should line up really nicely on all of the uh, sides, top and bottom. And then you kind of want to get the left and right side on the very lip of the controller. All right, so go ahead, once you get it nice and lined up, go ahead and just gently press down. And as you go, just press down between all of the buttons. and then slowly peel your sticker off. Once you really have the initial marking lined up, the rest of it should fall in place really nicely. And then just press down all the corners, make sure there's no bubbles anywhere. And you should have your new sticker on there. And then the last thing that you'll need to do is just go ahead and replace all of your knobs and your faders. And you should have a nice looking MIDI controller. Let me know if you got any questions. Thank you.